Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I wanted to do another journal with me using the Cheaply Chic uh, Be Cozy or Get Cozy collection. And if you have not seen my other two videos on this collection, I will put the links for them down below in the description. This is one of my design team projects and I am super stoked for being on her design team. This was my first collection that she sent. She just sent me another collection called Grace and that is for the January collection that she has released. So go ahead and check her shop out. I will put the link for her Etsy shop as well as her YouTube channel because she does reveal videos and I believe she, yeah, she also does journal with me's on hers as well. And she has a whole design team that does videos for her collection. So just awesome. I did some pages on a previous video and I'll flip through those for you really quick. I decorated the library pocket and the card there. I added this paper in to do a little flip out on the first page and here's a tuck spot that I added this little note card to. And then I made this into a belly band or a little tuck spot and then added the tag there and it decorated that. And then on this side I added these little punch outs to make banner across the top and here is a pocket this was her letter in the kit and so I just used the artwork to make a pocket and I made a tag from that paper and that is what I have done so far so I wanted to move on here if you had watched my video when I did this, I am not quite sure what I'm going to use this book for as of right now, but I wanted to decorate the pages and then it will be ready for me just to add pictures. Usually with my journals, I, I like to make them memory keeping journals with pictures and maybe a little bit of writing. I'm not a huge journaler or diary keeper, so yeah, I like to scrapbook and make little mini albums. So these journals are perfect for doing that if if that is what you do. They're also great for doing a diary or just journaling your winter outings or vacations or just your everyday life. So yeah, this is, I love this. So let's move on here, turn the page. To start off, I'm going to use this glassine bag and I want to make a little flip out pocket there. So I'm going to fold it in half and then glue it down. I'm just going to add glue to three sides so that I can make a pocket at the top. That way I can add a tag or you can add secret notes to it or whatever. And now I just want to decorate the front of this just to add a little bit to it. So I'm going to use some scraps that I have. That's a piece of wallpaper. And then I had a couple, um, well I have this piece here that has the penguin on it. So I'm just tearing it and I'll stick that right down there. And I kind of want to layer it up so I have this other scrap that I'm using, so I'll just stick those together and add it on top of that bag. And I just want to figure out what I want to use. So I have this piece of paper that was the letter that Lynette had sent, and so I'm going to put it on top of that scrapbook paper to make it a little bit thicker 
and then make it into a tag. And that fits nicely down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add, clip the corners and then add some fibers at the top. And I'm going to take one of one of the snowflake blings there and add that in. I didn't want to add a lot to that because that pocket is kind of tight. So now I want to make a little flip out with that tag right there. I think that tag is so adorable with the penguin and the snowflake stamped on it. And then I want a little tab on the side of it, so I'm adding that ticket. And I'm going to go ahead and tie some of that tinsel trim in there. And then she sent these FedEx sticky labels, so I'm going to slice off a couple pieces and go ahead and attach the tag to the page so you can flip it open. So now you just want to take one piece and stick it to one side of the tag and stick it down to the page. And then to make it a little more sturdy, you flip it over on the other side and attach the other piece along that side. I was trying to decide if I wanted to cover that white up, but I ultimately didn't. If I decide to, I'll do that a little bit later. Now that's it for those two pages. Just looking through everything and trying to decide what I want to do now. So I have this page that came with the collection and it says January there, so I wanted to make this into, well, I wanted to be able to flip this whole page out so you could see it all the way, so I folded that, the left side in a little bit, and then I lined it up so that the January, you could still see the January there, and I'm making it making the page so you can flip it out like that. So I'm just going to let on the inside there you can add pictures or maybe cover it up. When I get to that point I'll decide what I'm going to do. But I want to be able to tie it up so I added the yarn back behind there and then I'm going to glue the bottom down. That way the yarn will stay in the book and then you can just untie it if you want to open it up and see what's inside or add pictures or whatever. On the left side I want to add a little corner pocket that flips up. So I'm just taking one of the pieces of paper, I fold it in in half diagonally and now I'm just adding glue on two sides so it makes a little tuck and then you can flip it up and add whatever underneath there as well. Now I'm trying to come up with something to decorate it with so I have this die cut and then some stamps there and I decided to add a ticket to it and then I'm going to add one of the snowflakes. And 
and then I'll glue that down on top of the pocket. And there you can use that for a little tuck. So I'm just going to add a library card and that vintage playing card. So on to the next page, I decided to add that little glassine bag onto the book page. And then tie some fiber onto that little claim check. And then I was trying to figure out if I wanted something on that glassine bag, but I couldn't figure out what I wanted at the time, so I just kind of left it alone, and now I'm going over to the left side, and I'm going to make a layered belly band, and this is just great to use for your scraps that are left over, so I'm just going to tear this piece down a little bit, and then add a piece of that library page, and just do some layering. And then I did take this over to my sewing machine and I did some zigzag stitching all along, but I didn't show that on camera. So there it is all stitched. And then I'm going to layer some other things on top. I have that ticket and the little heart. And then I decided to add a couple pieces of, of the embellishments at the top there, the rhinestone and the sequin. And then I'll just add glue at the top and the bottom and that will be done. Still trying to decide if I want something on that page. So I decided to add a couple holes and then tie yarn through that to make a bow. Just kind of add something, a little bit of color to the side there. Now on this page I'm taking the doily and I folded it in half and I'm going to attach it I used my hole puncher and I'm just going to punch one hole and tie yarn through that sometimes I take this over to the sewing machine and just show so down the right side, but I decided to do, to do this this time. I have that scrap there. It's a magazine page, I believe. So I'm going to make that into a pocket. So here are the pages that I worked on today. We did the one with the flip out glassine bag and then the tag, the little side tuck the belly band and the page that opened up along with this the doily and the little tiny glassine bag so if you like this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe and we'll see you again next time go on and check out cheaply chic's etsy and her youtube and then check out all the other design team members as well this is kim with creative crafticality bye god bless